This local sports report is presented by Peter Izio from Izio Financial Solutions, a proud supporter of local sports. Izio Financial is focused on helping you achieve financial security for your family or business. Call Peter today for expert advice from an experienced advisor at 519-576-5410. The Laurier Golden Hawks football team has done a great job this year bringing in local recruits, including this young man beside me from Guelph. You played at John F. Ross this past season. You're here at practice now with the Golden Hawks, recently committing. Uh, what's this like for you, Matt, and congratulations. Thank you so much. I, it's, it's awesome. It means a lot. It's really cool to be a part of something like this. I've always wanted to play at a higher level of sports, and I feel like football has been brought that opportunity to me. Um, I'm just super excited. I think it's a really cool story as well. You don't have a lot of football in your past. You're more of a basketball guy. Obviously, your size is something that comes to mind right away. You're standing six foot eight and completely towering over me at this point during this interview. Uh, but that was your first year with John F. Ross playing high school football in your 12 plus year, yeah. right? How did this all come about for you so quickly, do you think? Um, well, my friends told me, hey, you're pretty big. And I was like, yeah. And then they told me to come out and play football. So I did and uh, I, just kind of come out, went from there. Like I was like, sports are back, let's go play them. And I played football and then this all kind of just happened. What do you love about it the most? Why was offensive line a good fit for you? And where's your, where's your passion come from? Because you have to love it to be able to play at this level. And you also have to be very smart, smart academically yeah. as well, right? It's a combination of things to get you to this point. Can you just summarize all of that and how all of that happened and how you just fell in love with the game like that really? Well, I mean, I've watched football my whole life, uh, watching the NFL and stuff and uh, CFL. But, like, I just kind of, like, got on the field. I was like, this is awesome. I get to hit people. Uh, <laughs> it's just, I just, I don't know, instantly fell in love with it. It was something different than what I'm used to, like, playing sports-wise. And it was physical, and I could get my anger out. I could feel like I was doing, I felt more in control of anything than I was doing when I was playing football. What do you want to contribute here to the team success? Obviously, it's about you know the guys on the offensive line and building good chemistry and building a family with your new teammates. How do you see yourself fitting in here at the OUA level, Matt? I feel my. I think I think I'm gonna fit in great. I'm I'm a very big personality. I'm a very outgoing person. I'm I make friends with everybody. I have no problems. Uh, I think uh, hopefully all the guys will like me um, and hopefully bring the bring a championship home. Let's pause here for a second to hear from Golden Hawks head coach Michael Falds. He had this to say about Matt Zarzicki from Guelph signing at Laurier. He actually goes to one of my alma maters, John F. Ross in Guelph, so I'll give them a little plug. Um, and the nice thing about Matt, uh, he comes from a basketball background, has only played football a couple years, but at six foot eight, 280 pounds, uh, you can't pass that up in the recruiting process. He's a phenomenal athlete with incredible upsize. First thing you see is by far the biggest guy on the field. Um, so you like that, but oftentimes when you have a big player, they're not as great of an athlete, but Matt is an incredible athlete. Uh, you can see the footwork he's gained from playing basketball. Um, so super excited to have him. I'm sure that's a common theme you've heard a lot over the course of your life is your size, obviously standing six foot eight, and I'm sure high school football, that was a huge advantage for you as well. I know it was only one year, uh, but you had a great experience experience at John F. Ross. You got yourself into the District 10 Championship game. Uh, what do you take away from the John F. Ross experience? Um, I take away the experience as a whole and like what it means not only to win but also to lose. Like losing in that championship game, it, it hurt and it, it's taken a toll on me mentally but it just makes me want to work harder and get better and be better. Um, but John F. Ross was a great experience to me. I, I love that high school. I got tons of friends from there and that will be my lifelong friends. Uh, it means a lot to me, all of it. The thing about John F. Ross over, you know, all of these years, they have a successful football program. They've done great things. They've won championships. Uh, what can you say about the coaches and the family atmosphere that's there, right? They build winners at John F. Ross, and I've seen that for a long time, Matt. Yeah, all the coaches are great. Um, Coach Matthewson, he's awesome. He's, they're all supportive. They're all, like, trying to help you be better, and they work with you, you know? They don't, like, if you're doing something wrong, they don't ignore it. They, they help you through it. They make sure you're doing it right. They walk you through it. They help make sure everybody's good to go for that game day. We watch film, we do everything we can to prepare, and the coaching staff's been really great. Talk about the transition a little bit from basketball to football and just how that all came about and maybe some of the people, you know, in your basketball career that had an impact on you too, just in terms of developing you as an overall athlete. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, transition from basketball to football was cool. Uh, it's a lot different of sports. Obviously, basketball's a non-contact sport, football is. 
Uh, it was uh, a big deal for me to have such great coaching role models growing up. Like my coach, uh, my coach Ash, who coached me forever during basketball, he's really molded me into the one of the like the athlete I am today. Yep. Yep. Uh, he helped a lot with that process. Yeah. Thank yous and shout outs. Obviously, you mentioned some of your basketball coaches, some of your football coaches. Yeah. Uh, there's a couple of very important people yeah, that are sitting absolutely. right over here that love you to death and are very <laughs> proud of you that you've got this opportunity here with the purple and gold. Uh, who do you give your thank yous and shout outs to, Matt? Uh, I'd like to give my thanks and shout outs to my parents, obviously, my mom and dad, my whole family who's been really supportive of me, my siblings, everybody in my extended family. They've all been really supportive and excited for me. I'd also like to give it to all my coaches, my football and basketball coaches throughout the years who have helped me become the person, the man I am today as well as my friends for actually getting me out. My friends Cam and Ty and Josh, they got me out here to play football and mm -hmm. I have them to thank a lot for this. Just an amazing story, playing one year of football and now he's a committed athlete here with the Laurier Golden Hawks. That is Matt Zarzicki. We look forward to seeing you in September here at University Stadium. Thanks for the time, Matt, and congratulations again on joining Laurier. Thank you. For more highlights, visit our website, 519sportsonline.ca. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.